I'm here with MVP after his UFC debut. Now, mate, how are you feeling after debuting, coming out to the Undertaker's theme? <laughs> I feel, I feel amazing. I feel like I, you know, I did my job. I did exactly what I needed to do. I did exactly what a lot of people probably didn't think I'd be able to do. And I think I've proved to everybody the, the standard that I am. A tough guy in Kevin, Kevin Holland. I felt, I felt untouch, untouchable in there. I definitely could have done a little bit more, mm -hmm. but I'm so happy with what I've done. Do you think some fans underestimated you and Kevin Holland underestimated you because you hadn't fought in the UFC? Kevin Holland didn't underestimate you. He, he, you know, he, he said a couple of things and, and comments, mm -hmm. but 100% he didn't. He knows. Any true martial artist can see somebody's talent. Outside of that, yes, 100%, massively underestimated, mm -hmm. but it's okay. It's okay. I, I, I like having to prove myself. You guys were going back and forth in the octagon. Mm -hmm. What words were exchanged in the <laughs> octagon? The main the main thing is uh, <laughs> the main thing. He basically uh, round two or three. He was like, "Man, you're slippery as hell." And I was like, "Man, you you, you were slippery as hell in the first round." He's like, "Yeah, it must just be a, a black man's cocoa butter thing." And I just started laughing, man. He, he's like, oh, you moisturize before you go in with the cocoa butter. But uh, I'll just moisturize in general in the morning. Like, okay. That's 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 not like it's not like before I walk. But it it was just funny that he said that. Like he's mm. he's he's hilarious. Again, I'm, I'm as a fan of the sport. I'm a fan of him. That's awesome. That's awesome. Now, I saw you in downtown Miami <laughs> this morning. You were relaxed. Yeah, fresh, you got a good fray. You got a fresh fade. <laughs> but you were relaxed. You didn't have a care in the world at all. It didn't even look like you had a fight. And that's what made me put a bit of money on you, if I'm being honest. Uh -huh, Do you approach every fight like that? A hundred percent. Like, I, I'm, I'm so... Tr for me, I don't like to add pressure that doesn't need to be added. So, for example, I bust my ass day in, day out, training so, so hard. Why am I stressing myself here? This is the fun bit. This is the playground. Like, but beforehand, I'm working to get to that point. So then when I get here, I'm not trying to be tense. I'm, I'm trying to be free as possible. This is why I love to put the, the show on beforehand. I love to have performances after. Yeah, it's just amazing. We saw you come out with The Undertaker's theme song. Is this what we're going to expect from MVP every time he comes out in the UFC? This is what you expect from MVP full stop. Like Before I got here, I was doing things like this. Now that I'm here, I'm going to continue doing things like this. And it's just that's just me. That's what I bring to the table. Well, now that you've gone past your first opponent, what's next for you? Do you have any mm -hmm. eyes on certain opponents? I know you want to eye Leon Edwards. UFC is going to Manchester. Mm -hmm. What do you want to do next? To be fair, I'm not, you know, I'm not sure. I'm still obviously I'm new to this side, this mm -hmm. world. I feel good. I feel, you know, unscathed. I'm going to mm -hmm. have a little break with the family. Wee. Oh, I'm going to have a little break with the family. We're yeah, just, we're watching a Mali Cheeto <laughs> Vera. <laughs> eyes are like, oh. yeah. I'm going to have a little break with the family, which is, for me, is, is, is massively important. It's the cherry on top of such an amazing journey mm -hmm. to this point. Then we go back to the drawing board to speak to my coaches and speak to my management. They speak to the UFC and then we see where we go from there. Is anyone you have your eye on in the division? Could it be an Ian Gary? Could it be a Colby Covington? Anyone specifically you'd, you'd think you'd be a good matchup for? I Genuinely, I don't care. If mm -hmm. I'm my best me on the day, which weird enough wasn't me today. Okay. But if I am the best me on the day, I feel like I stand in front of any, any single person. So whatever happens next is supposed to happen. And what's your message to Dana White now that you've won your first UFC fight? Just, uh, I hope, you know, I hope he sees why I'm here. You know, I hope he sees what I bring. And I'm only going to keep growing, bringing more, bringing more eyes. This is what I do. I'm an entertainer.